Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Enduring Faith. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God, they have the faith of Jesus. Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Jesus tells us that in the last days, the faith of God's children will be tested and will be stretched to the limit. In fact, he says that except those days be shortened, no flesh shall be saved. So when your faith is stretched, what do you do? Do you give up? You need to have what is called enduring faith. In our scripture for meditation today, we are told that the saints in the last days will have patience. They will have to endure. The saints that keep the commandment of God and have the faith of Jesus must also have the endurance of the saints. And Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 24, that only those who endure to the end will be saved. So we must have enduring faith. If we go to the book of Hebrews, we read of people who have enduring faith, whose faith could not be conquered by circumstances. Paul said in Romans chapter 8, he says, What shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, shall nakedness, shall hunger, shall persecution. These are the things that separate people from God. These are the things that make people to do crazy things, that make people to give up their faith and begin to compromise. In Hebrews chapter 11, we read of a people who refused to give up their faith and they suffered and endured. We read from verse 35. It says, Women received their dead raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial of cruel mockings and scourgings, yeah, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sown asunder, we are tempted, we are slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all these, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. God, having provided some better things for us, that day without us should not be made perfect. That's to verse 40 of Hebrews 11. God is telling us today that sometimes we have to endure to be saved. The Bible tells us in Isaiah that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. God is calling you today. If you are ready to give up your faith, God is saying do not give up your faith. You need enduring faith, regardless the circumstances in your life. Let us pray that God will keep your faith and your faith will not fail in this hour of trials. Let us pray that God will fill you with more power and provide a way of escape for you, even in times like these. Father, we give you glory. Your daughter's faith, your son's faith may be shaken. Because of time, because time seemed to be passing by, because of trial, because of persecution, because your son would not want to compromise your child. And in that office, in that school, there is oppression and there is this urge to give up the faith. But Lord, I pray that fresh power from on high will fill your child and make him Make her to continue to persist in faith. 
persistent faith, enduring faith be upon us right now. Take all the glory and honor so that we will not lose out in the blessing and in eternity. In Jesus' name, Amen.